How's it going everyone? <clears throat> it's Monday and uh, just giving you a quick plant update. I didn't get on the other yesterday so I figured I'd jump on real quick today. Nothing very exciting going on um, outside. It's been rainy, crappy. Um, so hopefully this weekend we'll be able to get back out there and get some work done. You know, and uh, things of course being springtime and everything going on outside. Uh, life takes control. Got a lot of functions for kids and family and things like that. So, but we get out there as often as we can and get things done. So, all right. So here's what we got going on here. Um, the asparagus is still being funky as ever. I was gonna. What I did was I backfilled. You can see a lot of these. I backfilled a lot of these the other day. It actually took me like two hours because uh, you pretty much have to spoon feed this stuff uh, so you don't kill the plant smack it bend it and then you're done um, so you had to be really careful um, it took me a lot of time to do it uh, but I think in the end it'll uh, it'll work out well I did not do it with the asparagus I still don't know what's going on because I was gonna try and like stand these up a little bit but then if you notice it's got this one coming straight off these are coming straight up so I, I don't know if they're supposed to flop at first and then come up. Um, so I'm just going to let them be. Um, the rhubarb is still, it's up in the air. I don't know. It's, uh, there's, there's some small ones that keep coming up, but everything else kind of is folding over. Kind of looks like it's dying. I did lose one rhubarb. Um, this is not it. This is, I, I moved the rhubarb and put a turnip in here, which is just, looks like it's just starting to sprout as of today. Uh, but these rhubarb, I don't know if they're going to come up or not. Um, my banana peppers, doing great. Look at them suckers, standing right up. Doing good, getting nice and hearty. Um, and then you got these banana peppers, not so much. But remember, I had problems with the banana peppers at first, so these ones are some late bloomers. Uh, the onions, <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on with them either. I don't know if they're going to live, die. This one back here looks like it's almost completely dead. I don't know if that's what they're supposed to look like, flopping over like that. But What I'm going to do is I'll probably, when I get outside, um, for that time of planting, I'll probably throw some more in outside. I'll probably also end up uh, buying some, uh, some plants, who knows. Um, other than that, cauliflower. So good. Oh yeah, back here, celery. This is about the only plant that looks decent. This one, these ones, not so much. Um, who knows if they're going to grow or not. Not that I'm overly concerned about it. Um, celery is just uh, water and thread anyways. It's pretty disgusting. I think anyway. Other people like it. My kids like it, which is funny because they don't like anything else that I do. So the cauliflower is looking great. <clears throat> eggplant. This one's an eggplant right here. That's looking phenomenal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a sore throat. Everybody in the house is sick. So this is awesome. Uh, we've all actually been, there's four of us, we've actually all been to the doctor within the past week for a variety of things. Um, which is, I don't think, I don't remember the last time that happened, if ever. So jalapenos, they're finally all up. They're doing great. Um, some better than others. Cayenne peppers. I knew I was going to have a hard time with these, but I actually got four finally going. So that's a great thing. They're, like I said, those aren't for this climate. So um, we'll see when we get them outside <clears throat> if they continue. Oh, excuse me, Jesus. The, uh, the regular peppers, that whole, whole row here. Whole row starting here, straight back, doing awesome. A lot of broccoli doing great. Staying right up, doing good. A couple of them not so much, but most of them are. Uh, these little rutabagas here, doing pretty good. <clears throat> and then uh, cabbage in the back. And then again, I put a turnip back there. Looks like it just popped because uh, I lost one cabbage. Uh, this whole row is all cherry tomatoes, and they're all looking wonderful. Man, I love the cherry tomatoes because you can just you can go outside, and when they get ripe, they they stay ripe on the vine for quite a while. 
and uh, you just need two or three of them throw on a sandwich or on a steak you know they're they're perfect uh, beef steaks uh, remember I had the problem with the old ones um, that uh, I bought from another company that uh, never came up so these ones are all up that's this row here and they're uh, they're doing great for uh, you know what uh, being late you know they're just coming up but they're doing really well uh, I didn't backfill a couple of these I didn't pull one uh, just because they're pretty small still but they're coming along uh, the lettuce jumped up really fast all this is all different kinds of lettuce came up really fast and uh, doing seems to be doing wonderful um, along with some other couple things some arugula and whatnot um, my honeydew melons I got two out of the four here um, that look like they popped obviously that are coming up the other ones not yet a couple of collards and then uh, these were the two plants that died so I just put a uh, beefsteak tomato seeds back in them so that's what's going on that's where the update is and uh, less than a month to go and we'll be outside putting them all on the ground all right you all have a great day take it easy see you